A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and, looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. In today's gospel, notice who Jesus says will reject him. Specifically, Jesus says the chief priests, elders, and the scribes. As we've discussed before, the leader of this group of three is the chief priests. And who are the chief priests? They are the leaders of the temple in Jerusalem. More formally, they are known as the Sadducees and, as such, had the most power within Judaism. In addition, they were likely to be one of the most conservative Jewish groups. As a result, the Sadducees were so over-concerned about clinging to human traditions within Judaism that they forgot the meaning that was behind them. In other words, they became more focused on the letter rather than the spirit of the law. Furthermore, over time, their job would evolve into their working in cooperation with the Roman Empire. As decades went by, this role would increase to the point that by Jesus' time, they were almost like Roman government officials. So, on one hand, you had the Sadducees straying from Jewish traditions, while at the same time also becoming corrupt employees of the Roman Empire. Adding insult to injury, the Sadducees would actually have meetings with Roman government officials in the temple itself. What this does for Jesus is it makes the Sadducees, along with the elders and scribes who worked with them, his main opponents. And as such, Mark's gospel points out how the Sadducees were the most threatened by Jesus and his ministry. They would be the ones most instrumental in getting Jesus crucified because they essentially worked for the Roman Empire. And as I have said before, there can be no crucifixion of Jesus without the Roman Empire. Crucifixion was not a form of punishment within Judaism. So when Mark talks about the Sadducees, elders, and the scribes as being the people who reject him, this would be very historically accurate. But let's also take a moment to notice who Jesus does not include in this group. Specifically, the Pharisees are not mentioned at all. In Jesus' time, they were actually more well-liked and more progressive than the stringent Sadducees. In fact, when we read between the lines, we find that Jesus actually has more in common with the Pharisees than the Sadducees. 
like how both Jesus and the Pharisees believe in an afterlife, whereas the Sadducees did not in favor of an eternal sleep in Sheol, i.e. the underworld. But who is most glaringly not included in those who reject Jesus? As most of us often hear during Holy Week, we don't hear the Jews being the ones who killed Jesus, which almost creates the impression like the entirety of Judaism is responsible for rejecting and crucifying Jesus. This isn't historical at all. And if we really read between the lines of John's gospel, the term the Jews most probably refers to the Orthodox Jews who kicked the Jewish Christians out of the synagogues in the year 95 AD, which essentially excommunicates them from Judaism altogether. So what does this all mean? First off, the gospel writers do not agree on who was responsible for killing Jesus. Mark doesn't blame all Judaism like it appears that John does. He places the blame quite rightly on the Sadducees, who essentially worked for the Roman Empire. Second off, it's important to note that we hear the phrase the Jews. It doesn't refer to every single Jew who have ever lived as being responsible for Jesus' death. Rather, John implies that the Jews refers to the Pharisees and other mainstream Jews who essentially excommunicated the Jewish Christians when they were kicked out of the synagogues. <laughs> 